Peace, power, and protection, beautiful, beautiful souls. Welcome to Claire Audience Truth Speaker. I go by the name of Q. I welcome you all to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. Um, yes, I've been MIA and it was intentional. I wanted to let that eclipse energy kind of navigate out of here. Um, I didn't want to do readings because I didn't want anything to be misleading. Uh, you know, the eclipse energy is very powerful. It tends to chop out, cut out things that are no longer needed. So I didn't want to pick up on something that was ultimately, like I said, a misread. So I just wanted to kind of let that energy navigate on out so that we could come out, you know, come in with some new energy. So to all of you beloveds that may be new, welcome to the Soul Tribe Soul Family. As I said, I go by the name of Q. I uh, am an empath, I'm an intuitive, and I'm also clairaudient. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I listen to music during the reading and the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, the timestamp on the clock, maybe the title of a song, whatever it is, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards show. And it all just blends beautifully. Um, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So if the reading doesn't apply for whatever reason, just let it go, let it fly, you know, let it go, let it flow, let it fly by never try to force anything to be your story. Um, it will be very, very beneficial to look at your natal chart and see what your other placements might be like your moon. What is your moon sign? What is your Mercury? What is your Venus? Um, what is your rising sign? Like check out your placements and then watch those signs that correlate with those placements. Uh, cause you may find information and affirmation that you need, uh, to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I send y'all love because I appreciate your love. I rotate the love. I appreciate y'all rotating. It's just so reciprocal around these parts that I'm just like, I love it. I love it. So I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all. Um, if you saw my post today, um, I woke up at five, five, five and spirit was like message. So I was like, okay, yes, uh, we're going to do a uh, giveaway. It's time for a giveaway. I don't want to wait till I get to 11,000. I, I want to, you know, honor you who got us to 10,500. So we're going to go ahead and choose a feminine energy and a masculine just to keep it balanced because that's how we like to do things on these parts. Uh, so I'm going to do a, a reading for a masculine, a reading for a feminine and the, what the two questions. So get your pens, get your journals. These are the two questions. Um, and I'm not going to give like choices because my brain right now, I, I can't even, but if you are an active listener, you would have heard in my readings, who is my favorite hip hop artist, hip hop, meaning rap artists, hip hop, however you lyricists, however you want to label it, call it, who is my favorite hip hop artist? And also, what borough am I from in New York? What borough am I from in New York? I'm currently residing in North Carolina, but what is the borough that I am from in New York? So those are your two questions. So the first two people I see that have answered it correctly, I will go ahead and... Um, I'll go ahead and, and shoot you an email. I'll reach out to you so that we could get your, your free readings done. Ashe. So those are the two questions. Who is my favorite hip hop artist? And what borough do I reign from? Ashe. So those are the two questions. We got that out of the way. Um, I am a timeless reader, so my readings are timeless. So whenever this video pops up in your feed, that was divine time and divine order for you have done for you to have done so. Um, anything else we want to cover? I guess we'll just go ahead and proceed with the read. But before we do, you already know what we got to do. Let's go ahead and pay some respects to the ancestors. Beloved, and do some house cleaning. Ah, shade. Four, four, four on the clock. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit 
Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So we did see that 444 right into the, um, you know, right into the prayer. So absolutely angels are around you. That has been happening a lot in the past, I would say three to four readings. Uh, it's just been nothing but 444s and 333s. Um, and that 444 is definitely your angels, you know, uh, uh, letting you know that they're around you, letting you know that you're protected, letting you know that if you've been praying fervently, that answers are coming, patience is required. Four does deal with the energy of that heart chakra. So perhaps some of you all are um, healing and recovering from any of your past pains, wounds, traumas, maybe a past love broke your heart. Maybe you all have been really healing um, and just your love language is starting to change. You're starting to discover um, or be honest with yourself about what you require. Um, but I also see like, you know, some of you divine masculines are also embracing, uh, you know, showing your sensitive side. I'm hearing your sensitive side. Maybe you've been very masculine uh, in a way where you didn't show emotion because for a very long time, men were made to feel like showing emotions, crying, or being sensitive to other people's feelings was emasculate. It was feminine, you know, and maybe you all are now starting to embrace uh, your more sensitive side. Um, and, and that's necessary because you need a healthy balance. Um, even if you are single, uh, you, you have to be connected with both properties. So you can't just be all logic and, you know, emotionally stunted because that kind of makes you imbalanced in a very, um, in a significant way. So, you know, even if you're feminine, you can't be all emotion and not logical because then you're doing things irrationally. So we all need balance. We all need to find that healthy medium and um, that's just what I'm picking up is that I'm really feeling a strong sense of self-love, self-worth, self-discipline. Um, and it's just all encompassing of the aforementioned self-discipline. That is, it's just, you know, showing self-love. When you love yourself, um, you create boundaries, you don't settle, uh, you communicate and express, you know, your truth. You're not afraid. Um, and it's really a powerful position to, to love yourself because you also are teaching others how to treat you in that aspect. Um, you know, so it's really important to have a firm sense of who you are. And that's just what I'm picking up because that number four is really about stability and sturdiness and security. Even when you think of a car, you have four wheels. When you think of us, our limbs, we have four limbs. So it keeps us balanced. It keeps us erect, even, you know, standing erect. Uh, so I do feel like you all are really coming into this sense of power because that four also deals with the emperor, which is the divine masculine. So you divine masculines are really asserting yourselves now and going after what you want. Um, being bolder, being more risky, being more daring, um, and really following your heart's truest passions, truest desires. And, and that's what's really um, admirable, you know, is when people are living their truth uh, instead of a, you know, a beautiful lie. You know, it's like when you live in the ugly truth or when you grow through a certain hurt, you know, a hardship or a certain disappointment and you come out on the other end, you have a little more you know, respect for yourself. You realize how strong you actually were. 
uh, because of that perseverance, because of you res being and showing resilience. So I just get a strong sense of like being very uh, confident, being more of a leader, uh, you know, taking the reins and, and going in the direction that you see fit. So that's what I'm picking up intuitively. I just saw 1010. So I am picking up that there are some endings and every ending, as we all know, represent new beginnings. Some judgment happened. Maybe there was a judgment call that you had to make to exit stage left because 1010 does reduce to two. So there could be some decisions. You had to choose a wise decision. You had to make a wise choice in a action that you had to take because the two is showing me like the two of wands um so i am strongly feeling that sense of just making a decision after something has met its demise and you being confident in that decision and not feeling defeated or feeling like you are um you know like you were hindered in any way it's almost like like a relief, like you have finally let something go. It's finally a chapter that is wrapping up regarding like a career, love, maybe, you know, a certain uh, chapter in your life. Something's finally exiting stage left. I did see 1111. So some of you all uh, may be coming into new uh, soulmate connections. You may be aligning with your soul tribe, aligning with your you know, your divine purpose or uh, aligning with your divine person. Uh, but I am feeling the sense of alignment. Uh, when you think of that four or the 1111, it's like, you know, it's, it's a very erect, it's very, um, it's a very felicious number. So it's just really showing that there is this sense of um, just standing up and, and, and even victory celebration, you know, um, it's showing a sense of even perhaps like stability, you know, perhaps you're moving home, uh, relocating. Um, but I am getting a sense of there being some union, perhaps, you know, aligning, like I said, with either a soulmate, twin flame, yin to your yang, yang to your yin, or you could be aligning with your divine purpose where you feel that sense of relief because you're now living in your purpose, living in your truth. Um, and that makes you feel like, you know, you have reason to celebrate, you feel victorious, or you feel like you've triumphed over um, some of those hardships that I was picking up on. But I digress. Let's see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively, beloved. So the time that we have on the Kliz Ak is we have 321. So that's 3-3. Three, three. Threes are associated with the Ascended Masters. Um, so just as I said, four, 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 and threes are, you know, literally following Scorpio. So three, three breaks down to six and six is the six of wands. So I was just speaking to, um, you know, the victories and the triumph and the celebrations because I'm seeing the six of wands in my mind's eye. I'm also seeing that six of swords because I spoke to moving. Uh, some of you all could be re relocating, moving away from folks, um, that six could also be just speaking to, you know, overcoming certain difficulties and, you know, even your own fears, like you've defeated uh, some of the people that could have been naysayers, some of the people that could have really been um, doubting you, um, bad mouthing you, gossiping about you, spreading rumors. And it's like you're triumphing over triumphing. Um, over those individuals. Um, because when you think of the six of wands, you know, it, it appears like everyone's cheering and happy for you and, and, um, celebrating your win. But if you really look closely, you'll see a couple of, little, couple of haters seething at your success. Um, you'll see a couple of people given the evil eye, you know, kind of snarling and snarking at you as you're kind of just, you know, receiving all the love from those who genuinely are happy for you. There are always going to be some haters on the back end of that. 14, 14 on the clock. That's five, five yet again. Um, you could have some chatty patties around you. Uh, these are individuals projecting. We all know that when people gossip, um, it's literally just immaturity. It's to me, I feel people deflect, you know, deflect from what the real issue is, which lies in the individual that feels the need to gossip about other people, because it's like they want to shine a spotlight 
on other people's circumstances or they want to kick people when they feel they're down. But if you shine a spotlight in their house, it's a pigsty. They're literally tripping over all of the mess that they've been trying to sweep under the rug, hoping no one found out. So I always tell people like, you got to avoid the rumor mills as juicy as things sound and as much tea you want to drink. It's like, avoid that. I don't even watch that ish online. I can't stand to see grown men just sitting around talking about other grown men. I call it the Petty LaBelle, Petty Murphy, you know, syndrome, because to me, that's what this platform has become. It's like, how low can you go? Oh, can you go down to the flow? You know, that's how I feel. I just feel like everybody's just like, it's like slinging mud and shit at each other. And it's just, why? Like spread information, spread the love, like awaken people, inspire people. Don't utilize platforms to, you know, spew hate, you know? So um, avoid the gossip mills. I said all of that to get right on back to the point. Avoid gossip mills. Like don't get into circles where people are talking about other individuals because whoever gossips to you, gossips about you, all right? And I'm gonna repeat that so y'all can internalize it, retain it, you know, take a snapshot in your mental Rolodex. Whoever gossips to you, gossips about you. So don't think that you're special because you done heard some tea on Shauna, you know, in such and such office. So don't think you are special because you heard about homeboy down the block. And you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like they're going to gossip about you as you're next. Like, so avoid it. When you hear people getting around that little water cooler and they sitting here, girl, bumping their gums, walk in the opposite direction. And that could be what you all already do, which is why you have some haters, because instead of focusing on making friends and being, you know, a part of the cliques, I don't know why people feel the need to be a part of cliques because that's always problematic, but maybe that's why you could be seen as an outsider because you're not get you know, trying to fit in with the crowd. You're doing your own thing. You're clocking in, doing your job, excelling at it and clocking the hell up out of there. When they invite you out, you, 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 you respond with a no because you know, they fugazis. You're not hanging out with them after, after hours. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason for that because there's nothing, you have nothing in common other than the job itself. So I really feel that could be the reason or you know, a part of the reason why there could be some rumors kind of spewing or circulating or why people could be attempting to defamate your character. Um, but ig the ignorance, because it's this all attention um, seeking uh, techniques, people want to kind of poke the bear and, and push your buttons to see which will trigger you. And when they figure it out, they're going to do it all the time. So ne like fly high, you know what I'm talking about? Don't look at them, look past them. That's kind of like the energy I'm getting. So that six is moving away. Some of you all are moving on to bigger and better. Some of you all are leaving all of the haters behind. And that could be the reason why the gossip is starting to spew and pick up. Uh, I absolutely feel that there's jealousy and envy there as well. Uh, but as we saw the 444, then we saw 33, your angels are protecting you. Some of you may have uh, some information coming in. Someone may reach out to you that you haven't heard from in a while because six is always also given like the lovers um, where I'm feeling like maybe if you've been uh, pursuing other career endeavors or uh, pursuing something pertaining or relating uh, your own entrepreneurial um, ventures, interests, uh, you may be hearing some exciting news which can kind of catapult catapult things to that next level. Uh, I also feel like someone from your past may reach out to you. Uh, you may hear from someone that you haven't heard from in a long time. Um, someone could have been born in the month of June or someone could, you know, um, you know, maybe in six hours, six days, six weeks, six, you know, maybe something happened in, you know, the month of June that will kind of like, give you a clue as to who this might be that could be coming in. Uh, I never told you the song that was playing was the panties by uh, most deaf. So the panties, this could be someone that definitely, um, is attracted to you. If you're feminine, you know, this is someone that constantly thinks of you because he's kind of pointing at his temple. You know, this is a secret admirer because the way he's kind of masked up, and then he has like, you know, he's pointing straight to his temple. So this is someone from your past, you know, because that deals with the lovers. It's also, you know, showing me 
you know, that six of cups, you know, someone returning from the past. This could have been someone who may have regrets, couldn't get you out of their mind, can't stop thinking of you. Maybe they're very physically attracted to you, or maybe this is someone that is drawn to you. Um, I definitely am feeling a sense of trusting your own intuition, not allowing anyone to convince you to do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing. Always move with the intent of putting you first and not trying to appease and please because that is, you know, something that you have left behind you is the appeasing and, and super, you know, going above and beyond and overcompensating like we're no longer doing that. You got to meet people, you know, allow people to meet you where you are. Um, you can't, can't hold their hand and teach them how to, you know, to how to behave. They have to come in already knowing because you know your worth now, you know, as a divine feminine, divine masculine, it's like I said, you, you cannot settle. Settling is having to teach someone, um, you know, the best way to do something when they should just come in knowing it. Of course, you got to teach people through your actions of how you love yourself. Um, teach people how to treat you in that aspect, but you shouldn't have to teach someone like, hey, I like this, do this, because they should be paying attention. They should learn you. They should put enough time to court you to learn what you like, to learn what your interests are. And they should surprise you by showing you that they're paying attention along the way. But most deaf, I am feeling something is coming. I feel a move is taking place. I feel victory, success, and breakthroughs, and a triumphant outcome is absolutely happening. I do feel um, happening. I do feel someone is going to surprise you because I am getting a sense of someone surprising you. Um, but let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively, beloved. So we're going to start off with the numerology deck. So let's see what we have. Ah, I love it. So we have 78. That's 15. That's six. So that's another six. Remember, we saw that six earlier. So this is showing because it was 321 on the clock. So um, this is definitely saying that some of you all are moving into a career, a career of your choice, whether you have your own business, you're an entrepreneur, or if you are, like I said earlier, aligning with your divine purpose, your divine passions. Um, I do feel like there is a sense of fulfillment like you feel so elated like when you are doing something that you're passionate about when you are aligning with something that you know you truly desire uh especially in terms of a career it will never feel like work you know it'll feel like you're just doing what you were born to do so i do feel this strong sense of just complete elation i feel a sense of relief like you just feel like dang, I'm, I'm where I need to be. Um, and it's going to be thriving. Some of you all could be working in, you know, the esoteric or occult. You could be doing tarot readings. You could be a psychic. You could be a channeler, a scryer. You could, pre you know, create products. You may be someone who is a witch, you know, a warlock. You, you, you're tapping in to your, you know, alchemical force, so to speak. You're utilizing your imagination. So it's like you're definitely intuitive, definitely in, uh, a psychic, um, or you're utilizing your your uh, cerebral uh, skills to, to perform something. And I do feel it brings satisfaction. It brings joy. It brings that sense of fulfillment. And as I said, uh, what we have on the split is we have completion. So you have wrapped up a cycle as I was picking up, you know, because we did see that 1010 on the clock and you're moving on to bigger and better because you're graduated. You know, it's like you have graduated, elevated. And I do feel you've taken time to assess something, to observe it. And you're making, like I said, a very wise choice, uh, a very conscious choice and decision to move on. Nine is the highest number and vibration of change. Um, so that deals with the hermit. So you have taken the time uh, to really, you know, give yourself that grace, that space to go within, you know, to really go within because that's where the answers are. A lot of people tend to go to other people. I feel that's why spirit put it on my heart to remind you all to not submit your will to other people. You, your will is your power. And there are false prophets, you know, false prophets out here uh, that will try to, um, and I don't know if I said that in this one, I'm, I was pre-recording earlier and I mistakenly, 
uh, stop the video. So I don't know if I said that, but so let me say it here. Never submit your will to anyone, not a reader, not a tower reader, not anyone outside of self, you know, because that is your, your, your form of power. Uh, when you have gripes, when you have concerns, um, you should always consult with your higher self through meditation, through connecting and building and devoting that, that time to connect, um, I should say with your, your guide, your spirit team, your ancestors with source, with universe. Um, and that's what you all did. You took it straight to source. Uh, you went into that hermit mode and you made a conscientious decision to kind of step away from the crowd, from the noise and to hear your own thoughts, you know, to clear your own mind. Uh, and also to look back in awareness to, uh, see if you could pick up on anything that could have potentially led to those demises, you know, the demise of certain relationships or could have led to where people felt comfortable trying to challenge you or, you know, trying to act familiar. Uh, and I feel like you've identified that. And that's why now it's like, you're going to live in your truth. You're going to live in your purpose and you're going to have victories. And I feel like your victories are leading you to perhaps, uh, you know, doing what you are divinely meant to be, do and be who you are divinely meant to be. Um, we have X, X, Y, Y, X, X, and this is called about you. So I do feel like, um, as I was saying, you know, for many of you, you have been learning more about yourselves, learning what your love language is, learning your threshold, um, you know, in relationships and not always having to be the one to self-sacrifice because as water signs, we tend to be the nurturers. We tend to give all the love and, and try to heal everyone and help everyone because that's just we're being true to our nature, true to who we are. Uh, but that could also be very exhausting, you know, um, if you're not getting it reciprocated, if there's no uh, deposits being made into you, but only withdrawals, you're going to feel emotionally bankrupt. So I feel like you're also uh, coming into alignment with, uh, you know, people that are going to bring that sense of balance, because that number six is really also speaking to the yin and yang energy, the feminine and masculine energy. So you have completed a cycle, you've wrapped something up. And because of you closing a cycle, as I said earlier, you will now be opening up a new cycle. So let's tap in. So something is about you. I feel like you've learned a lot about yourself. You've learned what your love language is. You've learned what you need. You learned what you like, what you dislike. Um, you learn the type of people you vibe with. I said earlier, you remember we saw that 3-3, three, three, it was 321, and I was saying I felt like someone would be communicating or reaching out. So there is some some sort of news. Uh, it's going to bring clarity. Someone could be confessing something, expressing something. Maybe there's just an epiphany that you may have or a light bulb moment. But I'm feeling illumination. I feel like a conversation leads to illumination, but I also feel perhaps you have someone communicating with you telepathically or intuitively. Maybe you live in someone's mind or, you know, you're just walking around in someone's mind all day that you're picking up intuitively. This 33 is uh, associated with, you know, that, that first die because it breaks down to six. So that's your first die. So maybe you're highly intuitive, highly psychic, highly uh, discerning. Um, the threes deal with the solar plexus. And I always say that that solar plexus is like your first brain, your second brain, however you want to say it. But it's like, that's your gumption. And I feel a lot of you are trusting that, you know, you are stronger now. So you're more assertive. Um, you have confidence, self-confidence, you have self-love as I was saying. And so you're now look seen, um, or viewed, um, as like that divine feminine, you know, cause the three is associated with the empress and she is, you know, beautiful. Uh, she's attractive for many reasons, not just physically, um, but also just her demeanor, the way she carries herself, the way she asserts herself in the world, her, her loving and nurturing ways, her creative, um, abilities as well. She's a creative thinker. Um, even the masculine, very creative. That's, they realize and understand that's their divinity is to be the alchemist, to be the magi, the I imagination. So it's like, they know that the, you know, the, whatever thought that they have it creates their reality so they will channel you know all of the elements utilize the elements around them to create the life that they desire and it takes strength it takes determination it takes drive it takes you know that energy of being a leader and going after what you want and fearing not so I do feel you know perhaps this 333 is showing like someone's seeing you perhaps in a whole new light 
Um, we have Maxwell. This is called Drown Deep Hula. And this was, uh, this came out in 1998. These all break down to nines. So this is nine because 1998 is 27. That's nine. So I do feel like someone sees you as a wish fulfillment because I'm seeing the nine of cups. I'm seeing the nine of pentacles. They know that you're single. Maybe you have a single masculine named Maxwell. Maybe some of you all were dealing with someone named Maxwell. Some of you, some of you could have been born in 1998. Maybe you went to school with this person back in 1998. Um, with Drown Deep, I, I feel like someone is drowning in their emotions, as I was saying. Like, and I was picking up, like, you know, now they're uh, kind of like being more emotional, you know, connecting more to their emotions. Maybe in the past they drowned in their emotions because they didn't really express them. Um, so when you're constantly suppressing and suppressing, um, there comes a point where it's just going to explode. It's just going to, you know, come to surface. So with this five change, I do feel like with a conversation, cause that does deal with the throat chakra, maybe a conversation will change someone's perspective or conversation will change, um, the direction of a particular, uh, relationship you have with someone, even if it's non-existent. I feel someone will express their feelings because if you're drowning, that means you're dealing with the, the element of water and water is your element. So maybe someone has been as I'm what I'm gathering is just like they've been hiding these emotions and these feelings and these emotions and feelings are now taking over. Um, the five also deals with the higher offense. So I do feel someone has been kind of maturing. Um, to some degree because I was picking up someone who could have been emotionally stunted when you are not embracing your emotionality and you're not really open to, ex you know, showing, you know, or emoting, I should say, then, you know, that can be deemed as immature, you know, um, there's a disconnect and that is Scorpio's love language. Like you have to be uh, someone who does um, know how to show emotion and, and, and reciprocate because that is part of, you know, your love language. So I do get a sense of someone maturing because that five deals with the hierophant and that's really about studentship and learning and growing and evolving. So the train just went by. So there is distance. I was picking up, there could be some distance. Um, I was picking up the fact that you were not around someone, um, Maybe you moved away. Maybe this person lives at a distance from you. Look at that spiritual partnership. And I was just talking to that 27 because this breaks down. The 1998 breaks down to 999. And I just said 27, 9. And I was saying wish fulfillment. So this is like a very sacred bond you have with someone. And I'm, I don't know. I'm just feeling like this is someone you haven't spoken to in a while. And I feel like this person that you haven't spoken to in a while is going to confess or express something which will perhaps change your opinion of them. Uh, maybe it'll make you look at the situation a little differently because you'll find that someone is being honest. Someone is being transparent. Um, they're finally letting the guard down. They're finally taking off the mask. They're not walking in a facade or, you know, you know, it's like now they're finally being honest. And with this 27, I am feeling like with this spiritual partnership, Especially being as we, being as though we saw, you know, that eleven eleven. See, something is being sparked. I feel like there's a connection with someone that's going to be rekindled. Uh, you may have gone through, you know, sh enormous change recently, uh, or whoever you're dealing with is going through that or growing through that. And I feel that this has triggered something in someone that they want to perhaps try again or come to you. Um, I'm not feeling like this is a karmic love. I feel like this is someone that it's almost like you feel like it was a missed opportunity. It's like that person that you definitely was like, dang, you know, if only it's that person that you always wondered about, you know, that person that always was in the back of your mind that you couldn't forget about. Even when you tried, even after all of the relationships, having your children, there's just that one person that you think of. And I feel if that's not you that I'm picking up that has those sentiments, then that could perhaps be someone um, that is coming in that feels that way towards you. Like you're the one they could never stop thinking of, even after a marriage, even after being with several different people and having children and moving away. It's like you're still on you know, the back of their mind. We have lettuce in the morning. So some of you all may hear from someone in the morning or in the a.m. I don't like that word morning, um, but I do feel like this person thinks of you as soon as they wake up. They think of you when they go to bed. So let's tap in. Thank you, spirit. 
let's see what we have coming and going out going on for my beloved scorpios what messages do you have for my beloved scorpio spirit there goes that perseverance someone loves you someone's coming to that realization this four deals with that heart chakra so i do feel like someone had to kind of grow up they had to learn to love you know maybe they had to learn to love themselves because ultimately love is an inside job and so I do feel like someone had to learn to love themselves and that's the way that they're going to be able to come in and show you love. Um, you know, so with this 13, uh, the effort, there were no efforts made because this person was unable, you know, unable, pardon me, um, to show love, you know, um, and with mourning, I'm hearing, you know, not mourning the way she's saying it, but I'm hearing like mourning the death of, and I feel like through, cause this 13 deals with that death. Um, so I'm feeling like this person has been mourning the loss, you know, the demise of this relationship. And that is what brought them to healing, um, growing, you know, maybe the de demise of a relationship has led to, you know, someone really learning, uh, that they have to love themselves. They have to put themselves first. Um, so this death, this transformation is leading to, you know, something new, um, something better because whenever I see, you know, these cards solid, I feel like there's this sense of, you know, solidarity now, this sense of knowing who you are, feeling strong. And I was picking up a sense of like whoever um, I'm reading for, I'm always reading for Scorpio, but I could pick up on any energy, whether it's yours or whoever you're attracting to you, whoever's in your energetic space. And it's like whoever, um, you know, has come out of a difficult time, I am feeling a sense of feeling more stable, feeling more um, sturdy, you know, just feeling more, uh, of a leader, you know, type. So let's tap in. Let's see what we have to, what we have coming in, going out, going on beloveds. So we have 61 self-love can't make this up. So that's what you all have been doing. This is the overall energy, you know, and like I always say, self-love makes you more attractive. You know, no one likes a doormat. No one likes anyone that they could push around, shove around. No one likes anyone that they could just take, 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 and never held accountable to give, you know? So with this sex, self, uh, sex. <laughs> so someone's definitely thinking about sex. You know, they, they find you sexy. Um, like I said, self-love makes you more attractive. Um, with the 61.7, I am getting a sense of you growing personally, emotionally, spiritually, um, getting yourself to that place where you know who you are and you're not stumbling and fumbling, trying to convince other people of who you are. You're just asserting yourself. And if they like it, cool. If they don't, you keep it moving because how other people feel about you is none of your business. So this seven is showing that you're very, very psychic right now. Some of you have a life path number seven. Some of you are definitely um, October uh, 25th. Uh, babies. Uh, I'm getting um, November 7 babies, November 6 babies, November 1st. So happy, happy early solar return. Happy early physical day to each and every one of my beloved Scorpios. Uh, this is showing the work you've been doing. You've worked uh, I feel tremendously hard because I feel like, as I was saying earlier, the way Scorpios love is we're very giving, we're very protective. Um, when we love, we love hard. When we love, we love forever. Uh, so when there are those hiccups in the relationship um, where you are betrayed or deceived, it, it does, it can harden you because you have been so authentic, so genuine, excuse me, um, with the individual. So that's like, it's like, that's why it feels like a death because you go all in, you don't give half, you don't half ass it. And so that's why it feels like a death whenever Scorpios, um, have like a failed relationship or something, even at the job, when you work, you go to work, you go to work to work, you, you bust your ass, you go above and beyond. And when it's not appreciated, it feels like a death. So it's like, that's why I feel this self-love is coming out is because you've learned that, you know, um, how other people feel is none of your business. How other be people treat you is more of a reflection of who they are and how they operate. That should not, that should not, um, affect you in any way. And I saw 38, 38, which is 11, 11 again. So I am feeling that, like I said, the self-love makes you more attractive. So you can be attracting that spiritual partner that we saw your soulmate. Uh, what we have here is 11 individuality. So I was picking up many of you were single. Um, and when you're single, you have time to learn yourself, you know, to discover 
what you like, why you like it, to take the time to work on yourself, to heal, um, to find your voice, to find your power. Uh, so this individuality is definitely the foundation to your independence and your stability and your security. Um, and your overall happiness, you know, I feel like when you are codependent of others, um, that is where the misery can lie because you're heavily relying on another person to make you feel uh, happy or loved or uh, like enough, you know. And so it's very important to feel all of that before you come into partnership, before you come into union so that it can be balanced. Like I was saying earlier, a masculine that's just all logic and just all masculine and he has not tapped into that, that feminine energy of emotion, um, it can cause imbalance. It can cause, uh, you know, a, 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 a in, you know, disruption, if you will. Even a feminine who's all emotion and doesn't show any logic um, it could cause imbalance. So I do feel like there was a need to think, uh, to think things through, um, and to find that harmony. This 11 is a, a master number. Um, and I do feel like it was just showing that you were mastering yourself and not only were you mastering yourself, but you've reached that level of self mastery because this is a double number technically. And whenever I see double numbers for all of my newbies, I always feel like that's the energy of you attracting someone, um, that is a like mind that's made in your likeness. Uh, so with the ones, I'm getting a sense of like the one of cups. I'm getting a sense of like new beginnings. And uh, when you think of the one of the, you know, the ace of cups, pardon me, um, the ace of cups is really, you know, a lot of people just speak to the love that you're coming in a new love partnership. But I really feel it has a lot to do also with just the recovery period, um, healing, you know, really healing because water is very healing, um, cleansing, cleaning, clearing, um, releasing. Um, that is a very powerful, um, process as well. So I do feel like that ace of cups really just brought you back to, uh, back to one, you know, where you could really start to focus and hone in on, um, yourself, uh, hone in on, you know, perhaps even, you know, dealing with the root cause of the issues, um, whether that was familial past life, uh, whatever it was, childhood traumas, it's like you got to the root cause and you healed at a soul level. And, um, that is why I'm now feeling like you're making wiser decisions. I also feel like you could be, you know, aligning with someone, um, that's going to give to you equally because they too have been also, you know, going through or growing through a process of healing and recovery. Um, and now there's a sense of this, like, partnership, you know, because two is always speaking to duality, as I said earlier, yin yang. Um, so there could be someone making a conscious decision to come towards you. Um, we have um, Dave East you could be dealing with someone named Dave, you could be on the East Coast, you could be you could live on, you know, the east side of town. Um, I'm here in Eastern Parkway. I'm here in um, that. Yeah, I heard Eastern Parkway. Okay. And I'm, I'm, the name of that song was chills. So I, I am feeling like, you know, when you hear from someone, maybe it'll give you chills. Maybe, you know, maybe some of you all are having that type of sensation where you're having chills. And that is always, um, like when you feel those chills, that could be, you know, um, uh, a malevolent or a benevolent energy that could be around you. Um, I always like to think of, you know, a positive, uh, positively, you know, so you could have a very benevolent energy, like an angel that could be watching over you, especially since we saw four, four, four. And then we also saw three, three, um, which is the associated with ascended masters. So I do feel like there is a, a sense of like your spirit giving you some sort of, um, like confirmation or divine intervention, leaving you signs and synchronicities of what's coming, of what's around you. So you could be like kind of just picking up on these things um, intuitively or sensationally. Um, so with this six, one, that's seven. And then we have this two, that's 10. So altogether, I'm sorry, this is nine. So with the nine, I'm getting a sense of um, a wish fulfillment. And I feel it has a lot to do with self-love. Like when you love yourself, um, you are going to exude that and that is going to make you more attractive because I'm seeing like the nine of pentacles and as I said when you're single and you're independent and you're self-sufficient and you're stable and you're living well and you're treating people right and you're thriving and life is it's like that's a very um attractive and magnetic magnetic 
energy you know it's it's like it draws people in like people want to be in your orbit almost so it does make you attractive and i feel that's what's happening i also feel like you're very mindful of who you're loving because i'm seeing the nine of cups when you think of that energy he's kind of like smiling with a big smile but he has his arms crossed and that means you're very conscious of who you allow in and remember when we first um touched the cards we did see that number four so that four does deal with the heart chakra so you're very protective now of your heart chakra because you've had to learn to protect your heart um but you have to also be receptive uh so this is a beautiful energy i see four 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 so that's confirmation spirit is like yes sir so we have charlie baltimore some of y'all could be from baltimore someone could be dealing with someone named charlie but this is featuring ghostface and this is called stand up so i do feel like spirit is seeing or spirit is celebrating you uh for standing up for what you believe in the nine like i said earlier is also associated with the um hermit so now you are ready to stand erect. Now you're really, really, really ready to uh, assert yourself, you know, go out after what you believe in or what you desire. You're going to be more susceptible to speaking your truth and saying what you feel opposed to just going along, getting along or trying to overcompensate and appease other people. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. So who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? As I said, we have Charlie Bort Baltimore and Ghostface. So I do feel someone... Um, that either you ghosted or feels like you ghosted or someone that may have ghosted you or you may feel like they ghosted you. And that was, you know, the reason why I was picking up like someone that you haven't heard from in a while, someone that is going to shock you, um, you know, to hear from someone. That's just what I was picking up. So we have seven, seven spirituality. And remember, we saw that spiritual partnership. We keep seeing 11 11s. So I am getting a sense of, you know, someone that you are attracting that's made in your likeness, someone that's also very psychic. We have 777 here on the deck. That's a very lucky number. That's a wish fulfillment. Um, some of you all could be coming into unexpected income, sudden wealth. Uh, maybe you're going to hear from a job. I'm um, going to have a stroke of luck. I'm hearing a stroke of luck. But with this spirituality, I am getting a sense, um, as I said earlier, you know, you've really been working and growing personally. And the more work you do, um, the wiser you become, you know, and I feel like you are spiritually wise. I feel like you are wise in terms of street knowledge. You know now how to move in a room full of vultures, 10, 10 on the clock. So you've definitely cut the cord. And I feel like with that eclipse energy, because even when you think of the word eclipse, um, that clips is about clipping yourself, cutting yourself, um, snipping away what no longer serves you, the dead weight, the, the, the karmic energy. It's like cutting yourself free. And so now I'm just getting a sense of like free dome, like feeling the sense of liberation. Um, and I see here it's because you've learned to trust your own intuition. Um, you've learned to, uh, use your own divine knowledge. Um, your own divine wisdom. I feel a lot of you do have um, some spiritual gifts as well uh, that you are a assigned, you know, um, and ordained and initiated to impart to the masses, to the collective. Um, I feel also because we have 777, which breaks down to 21, which breaks down to three. Um, I am feeling like someone is trying to plan, prepare and strategize how to come towards you because I was getting a sense of someone kind of watching kind of like a, you know, almost like a secret admirer or just someone kind of learning and trying to figure out or gauge the best way to approach or what to say. Um, because that three is showing like the three of wands. But I do feel like whoever's been, you know, trying to assess the situation is going to take that 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 leap of faith because the three does deal with the solar plexus. And that is about, you know, your strength, your courage um, and your wise dome. So they're being very tact, uh, uh, you know, how do you say um, they're being dutiful, but also very tact full you know about their approach being mindful um meticulous i guess you could say uh but this 21 that's also uh the world card and remember we had the train going by so i am feeling there is physical distance in addition to perhaps not speaking to this person because we just had ghost face and charlie baltimore so i do feel like this is someone that felt like you ghosted them or vice versa they feel you may feel like they ghosted you um but i am feeling someone is ready 
to take action because whenever I see that three of wands, I always feel like this is, you know, a plan, prepare, strategize, or a ready, set, go situation. So they could be in either stage of that planning, preparing, strategizing how to take action, or they could be in the ready, set, go, you know, preparing to take action. Either way, something will manifest, something will um, come to, you know, fruition because it is an action based um, energy. You know, it's about taking action. We have 88 abundance here so this is how this person sees you automatically i feel wish fulfillment i feel love i feel admiration adoration i feel strong attraction this is an all pink card so this is pure like how they see you is they see your 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 purity i'm hearing the word purity um your authenticity your genuinity it's like they see this and they feel chemistry they feel this pull they feel like this magnetic pull to you i was feeling like someone like is coming into your orbit and it's like it's because like the the love you're radiating um that power you're radiate radiating the confidence um this you know just that energy the wise dome and and just that energy is kind of like pulling things to you so you're becoming more attractive and this abundance you know when you think of you know that number eight sideways it's the infinity so this is like you're going to have an infinite supply um they see you as someone very successful someone abundant someone that has as i said self-love someone who has turned their vulnerabilities into a superpower someone who's turned their lives around who's balanced themselves even when you think of the star it's like you tapped into your alchemical force at your most vulnerable moment it's like you have risen you know you've come out of you know tough situations um you know almost flawless it's like you know we saw that perseverance so they do see you as very strong that eight does deal with the number strength um but this is absolutely like you know you broke yourself free uh, from some from some really difficult circumstances dealing with karmics and I do feel like you was dealing with a lot of karmic love situations it could even deal with family you know because you do have emotional attachments and connections to your family as well even if it's work you could be emotionally attached to the the people you work with so it's like you've overcome that you you've become stronger because of those those hardships because of those circumstances the toxicity taught you to be more tenacious to be more you know bold you know and it transformed you in a lot of ways to be more assertive you know um, because when you break down this 18 16 that's seven so i do see you like asserting yourself now navigating learning you know navigating after learning how to move in the room full of vultures so to speak so now you're receiving the rewards the blessings the wish fulfillments because of the work you put in because of that tenacity you know what i'm talking about so we have rhapsody and this is a finny and this is featuring pj morgan someone's name could be pj someone may live in the projects in the pjs uh someone may be from north carolina rhapsody is from north carolina um someone also i'm hearing it's a wrap like you know something is a wrap so you've wrapped up a cycle that karmic cycle and now that's why you have this newfound love for yourself someone sees you as someone just beautiful i was hearing purity so let's tap in so how does this person scorpios are attracting to them or what they're attracting to them how does it feel about scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection so i'm gonna take this one because it's kind of like you know it's like wants to fall bottom of the deck we have 44 so this is someone in your orbit remember i was saying you know i was feeling something was coming in your orbit you're attracting something so this environment is saying something is absolutely in your environment um i feel this is someone you have planted seeds and roots with obviously because you know this green is given a sense of like you know there's love you know i feel like there was real love at one point in time with someone uh, but maybe someone, as I said, wasn't very expressive, you know, especially when it came to their feelings and emotions. Um, but I do feel now that someone is going to take the necessary steps because this is given more like the eight of wands. And right underneath that, we have the karmic completion, as I said. So I am getting a sense of like, you know, after some sort of ending, um, now someone is ready and prepared. My nose is starting to tingle. Um, but now someone is ready and prepared to take action. And this may be very unexpected, very surprising, um, because I do feel whoever this is, uh, is they have love in their heart. Um, and I feel this love is going to be reciprocated because it's a double number, but I feel this person has worked on themselves. They, they now, um, know how to 
emote. They know how to express their feelings. They're not afraid to express their feelings. Um, they're not afraid. And I just saw 5353, which is 88 eight again. And remember, we just saw that abundance card. So this is someone that's coming in quickly uh, and unexpectedly because that 88 eight breaks down to 16, which is seven. And that's the chariot. And so I am getting a sense maybe you're dealing with a, a cancer or someone who was born in June. Um, Maybe this is someone who has, you know, some sort of earth sign in their chart, but I am getting a sense of like someone being very sincere about how they feel about you. Um, so we have what flew out is we have the number 32 and this is music. So I am getting a sense of like, maybe someone listens to music. Maybe you all have the same interest in music or you like the same genre of music. Or maybe this is someone who's also clear audience. Maybe someone is listening to music and it's making them think of you. Maybe a song is kind of speaking to someone and it's actually like saying everything that they desire to say to another person. And it's kind of awakening them to feelings and emotions that they didn't realize that they actually had. Um, with this five, five and seven, what is that? Eight. So this is eight here all together on the um, deck. So this is someone that does see you as a wish fulfillment. And I also feel this is someone who lives in their head because remember I was picking up like with the most deaf, um, um, album cover. It was like he had his finger to his temple and I was just picking up someone that's constantly in their head. And when I see this eight here, I just get a strong sense of like someone who is, um, like, you know, it's like self-imposed mental anguish or someone's like ruminating over a situation. Um, you know, someone who's just constantly thinking. So let me see five, five, that's 10, one, six, seven. Well, yeah, that is eight. So I am getting a sense of someone, this could have been someone, um, who's really like, they, they see you as very strong and it can be very intimidating now because they know that you have the sense of self-love. Um, they know that they've wronged you. They know that you're aware that they wronged you. Um, because maybe now that it's like maybe they're rerunning certain conversations or arguments or disagreements you may have had in the past. Um, like I said, I'm not picking up like this is a toxic karmic. I'm picking up like this is someone that feels like you're the one that got away or you may feel they're the one that got away because maybe they moved on, got into other relationships, got married, moved to another locality and you feel like you lost um, contact with them. Um, but this person can't stop thinking. They always get back or come back to you. Um, even with that four, I see the four of pentacles always holding on to you. Um, and they may see you as someone kind of pushing back or holding back or not even really interested in going backwards, you know? So that could be also uh, another thing that stresses them or agonizes them uh, because I do feel like they want to communicate, especially with this 32, which breaks down to five. Um, so I do feel like this is someone that feels like a conversation um, can really clear the air because we did see that five change when we first opened up the uh, reading. And I was feeling like a conversation, like a real genuine conversation with someone could possibly change your situation. It could change the course of your life, the direction you're going in. It could change something and it could ultimately lead to marriage because that five deals with the hierophant. So that could lead to, you know, some sort of commitment, you know, committing to someone. Um, so we do have, all right, what's going on? All right. Now we have, um, Lenny Williams and this is called cause I love you. So yeah. So cause I love you. Let me see. Can you see that? Oh, sorry. Cause I love you. So Lenny Williams. So this person is coming back. Um, I feel music, something with music. I don't know if you, like I said, I don't know who this is. Music always comes out in the cards for Scorpio. This card always, I mean, for the past two, three years. So I know a lot of you are um, music lovers. That is something that does um, resonate with Scorpio. Scorpios love music. We love to listen to music. We love to play with music. We love to, you know, learn instruments. It's just like, so I do feel like some of you all are musicians, songwriters, singers, um, playing instruments. Uh, as I said, maybe you're a sound therapist. Um, but I do feel there's also some sort of connection with someone, um, regarding music. You, you have a strong connection with someone, um, 
you know, revolving music. Maybe the two of you, that's some of the things you used to do together. Maybe you used to go to concerts with someone or maybe when you were growing up, because I am getting a sense of someone that you know from the past, uh, you know, because we saw that six and I was getting like the six of cups. I also was feeling like this could have been like, you know, a very uh, um, synergetic connection. Uh, because, it, you know, we saw that spiritual partnership. So if you can't get someone out of your head, that's because there's something deeper going on. There's some sort of soul connection or soul tie. And with because I love you, I feel someone will confess something. I feel like that. I feel like, you know, maybe someone is going to be like, why, why are you coming back after all this time? I haven't heard from you in five years. I haven't heard from you in eight years. I haven't heard from you in however many long years. And it's like, because I love you. Like they just going to be honest. Cause remember this is someone in, the, in your environment. And I was picking up like the eight of wands. This is coming in unexpectedly. We also have 37 time out. So this is someone you haven't seen or heard from in a, quite a while. Um, and that's why I feel like, you know, there is, you know, this sense of someone like kind of hesitating, um, a little apprehensive coming in because it's almost like you, if you don't, if you're unsure as to how someone's going to respond to you or if, if someone's going to give you all this attitude, it could be, you know, it could be a little, uh, you know, scary to, to take that leap. But I feel like they will. Um, I do feel like someone will absolutely take the leap. So we have nine and it's because they are, um, they're ready. You know, they see you as a wish fulfillment. They're willing now to really express to you how they feel. Um, they understand why you ghosted them. If you ghosted them, I feel like they understand, um, you know, why it was necessary perhaps, uh, for you all to part ways because there was still some healing and some growing and some learning that both of you had to do separate or apart from one another so that you could come into union being your authentic selves um, because there's no denying because it says who or what you're attracting to you 77 spirituality so you know and that 77 breaks down to five which is you know like I said that hierophant and that's all about you know maturation this is a mature man a mature woman so this is someone who has taken the onus you know taken accountability taken you know responsibility of um, self-improvement you know and self-discipline ultimately and that's why, you know, there's self-love here. So you're attracting a like mind, someone who has done the same work, who's had to, you know, dig and dive and go deep. It's almost like you got to excavate, you know, all of the, the, the trauma and, 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 um, heal it, you know? So that's why I was saying earlier, like getting to the root cause of the issues. That's the only way you could heal something is if you get down to the root, even when you think of the, you know, plants, if you're growing plants in your home and you see that they're dying, um, just cutting the leaves is not going to heal, you know, that plant. You got to get down to the root. You got to change, you know, the soil. You got to get your hands in there and you got to be tender and you got to, you know, cultivate and, 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 and nurture. And you know what I'm talking about? Like, so you can't just cut the leaves, you know, it, it, it's deeper than that. You got to, you got to get in there and um, you got to heal the roots. You know, you got to get to why the roots are sick because it's the roots that are sick. That's the reason why the plants die. But I digress. So the um, next card we have is parenting 63. So some of you all could have been, you know, really just focusing and putting all your attention on your babies, on your children. Um, you know, I do feel like there's been also this sense of like, as I said earlier, tapping into your divinity as creative minds, you know, birthing new ideas, new ways of thinking, birthing babies even. Um, but this is really about just taking that time to nurture uh, and care for uh, your star seeds, your children, or care for and nurture, nurture um, your own projects, you know. Um, and this is how they see you. They see you as taking the necessary time to learn and to grow and to mature, um, you know, and to heal more importantly. So we have the, um, the eight, nine, nine and nine. So yeah, definitely a lot of changes. That's the highest number and vibration of change. Um, also, you know, really seeing that you have evolved in your way of thinking. We got 44 still on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what's hidden for my beloved Scorpios. I, I still love you is still on because I still love you is still on. Someone could be dealing with someone named Lenny as well. Someone um, named uh, Lenny Williams. Lenny, first, middle, or last. So what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, message of power, protection. What's hidden in the energy? 
and this is going to be um you know a deep dive i didn't do the shorter readings like i said because of the simple fact that you know i didn't want to push anything out during that eclipse season so we have two patients so that's about good things taking time to create this is also about trusting your intuition trusting what you feel trusting that gumption speaking energy right now you know be wise enough to tap and hone in uh to speak energy so we have the number five change so we did see that during um the opening of the reading so what's hidden is there is a change i do feel the change is someone is going to express something that's going to change your opinion about a situation or change your mind um maybe someone is expressing that they love you which is a change of their mind um, but I do feel also that just this energy of maturation and growth and, and just confidence, um, confidence like none other. Like now it's like you can't tell you anything, you know, um, you're not willing to to bend, to fold. You're never going to settle again in life. Like it's like now, you know, um, absolutely who you are and you're owning your power. And this is a very beautiful change that you've made um, because you've learned, you've learned a lot. You've really uh, been learning a lot. We have 78 spiritual career. This is what's been preparing you to take on this new role, um, to even step into your, your divinity, as I said, um, of, of being, uh, you know, that alchemist, being that magi, uh, being that healer, that shaman, that light worker, uh, that Reiki healer, that cartomancer, that scryer, that psychic, whatever it is that you do, you know, whether you're a crafter, um, you know, if you are uh, a witch, you know, if you make witchy things, whatever it is, it's like, this all has been preparing you. This has been like, you know, almost like training you know this is boot camp in a sense because the fives deal with the hierophant and it's about learning it's about tutelage it's about sitting under you know the elders and and asking questions and 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 getting the real you know eating fruits of knowledge going through a rites of passage being initiated you know um that's what that is you know some of you could be sufis i'm hearing the word sufis um so this is really like an energy of you all really being kind of like um like spirit was working with you um to prepare you so your experiences weren't by happenstance coincidence accident it was ordained it was preordained it was destined it was written in the stars for you to go and grow through whatever experiences you have recently come out of so that you could get here because this is what's hidden is the spiritual career is about to blossom and you will have an abundance you will have plenty more than enough for others to help others and i feel that's truly what your purpose is is to help others to be you know an inspiration uh you know even a guide to the truth you're not here to give people the answers you're here to just awaken the minds and open the hearts of the collective period you know what i'm talking about so next we have moderation so that is another word, the same word, you know, different word, but same meaning changes. So I feel because this moderation is here twice, that speaks to, you know, someone else that you could be uh, drawing in. As I said, as you make changes, you start attracting what you are. Um, so someone else has been working on themselves. We got this green card, which speaks to a very strong healing um, focus on healing. Uh, and I feel that that healing is, is what's ultimately the catalyst in someone changing, you know what I'm talking about? So next we have follow your dreams and that's exactly what you all are doing. That's what I said in the beginning of the reading is like following what you're most passionate about, what your heart's truest dot desires lead you to. This is what is really, um, you know, coming towards you or what you don't see, you know, someone may also see you as someone that is a wish fulfillment and they're coming in. We have heart alone. So someone's heart is open for you, but they still feel alone. Someone's heart is open for you. They're ready to love. And, you know, maybe that's what it is. They, they feel alone. They feel, you know, like they're by themselves. And it's like, you're the one that could perhaps open you know, open their heart or you're the one that they want to open their heart to, I should say. Next, we have personal growth. Can't make this up. I did speak to that. So you have grown personally, spiritually, emotionally. You know, this is really showing everything that I've said um, because the self-love, you know, 
is all encompassing of the work that you've been doing. Um, you learn to love yourself because you heal yourself. Uh, when you heal yourself, that's how you learn to love yourself. So you have taken it very serious. Um, this process of standing erect, you know, that, that individuality card speaks to independence and your independence is the foundation for all of this that we see. That's why you're now being aligned with your people, your purpose, your passions, um, prosperity. This is you being aligned with protection, protection from your enemies. That's why your angels are showing up because your wings are now developing and forming. So this is really like you're an earth angel and you have a reason. You have a, a reason. And I feel this is your season literally and figuratively for you to start reaping the benefits of this work that you've obviously and evidently put in. Um, so this is beautiful. So there is a spiritual career that is about to take off. I feel uh, what you've learned through your journey um, has prepared you. It's very evident. We have, um, look at this. We got triumph. Remember in the rip, beginning of the reading, this is by Wu-Tang. Remember I was saying that I was seeing victories and breakthroughs because we had that six. And I was saying like the six of wands. And I was saying you all are moving away. Um, you know, and so this triumph is definite. Did you guys see it? Because I think that it didn't show you. Let me do it again. Triumph. Some of y'all could be from Staten Island. Um, but I definitely feel like someone that, you know, you had to kind of put on time out, take some time away from, or someone that you've had a long, um, you know, it's been a long time since you've last heard from someone is going to uh, absolutely pop up and pop back on the scene. But I do feel you also have victories and a, a breakthrough that is ahead for you. Uh, because of everything that you've been doing um, and spirit is saying that you've been very patient you know you've been patient in this process because you're aware that patience is also a form of action um, Scorpios are not lazy I have not met a lazy Scorpio I mean unless they were like in their shadow energy um, you know just feeling entitled and you know what I'm talking about like but like Scorpios in their power not lazy like a Scorpio they will run circles around people. And, and, and that also was why I was picking up like, you know, people being jealous and people gossiping and trying to bring you down or clip your wings in some way so you can't fly high. And it's all out of like, as I said, deflecting from their, their lack um, of work, you know, um, of drive, determination. Um, but it also is, you know, projecting their insecurities. And I just saw one, 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 one. So there are some gossip um, being spewed, ig the ignorance is what I'm hearing very loud in my mind's eye. Um, there's a lot of chatty patties, petty labels, petty the Murphys, and that's none of your business. As I said earlier, whoever gossips to you, gossips about you, never get it twisted. Don't think cause somebody's bringing you the tea, bringing you the scoop, telling you what's going like that. They just, you know, they're, they're not including you in nonsense avoid that avoid it because it's low vibrational it's petty and it has nothing to do with you it's none of your business it's none of their business and that can also kind of lower your vibration um so it's like it's literally you know also given a sense of like also not sharing too much um but i do feel conversations are coming up so let's tap in so let's get the energy for the outcome we're going to clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up so divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What's coming in for the outcome? Got a lot of messages here for what's hidden. So these two cards are literally choosing themselves. We're going to take it. Bottom of the deck, we got physical activity. That's the number 13 as well. So I feel like whoever that was in the beginning, remember we saw effort and it was 13 and I was saying there was a death. And then with that song in the morning by Let Us See, I was hearing like not morning like tomorrow a.m., but I was feeling more morning like a death. So whoever it was in the past that wasn't making the effort, wasn't taking any action, I feel now there's something that has transformed or maybe that's your energy is now uh, you have elevated or you've emerged someone different where you're being more proactive. You're being more um, driven towards your goals or driven towards meeting your goals. Someone that could be a divine masculine is absolutely going to make the effort to show you perhaps how they feel or show you that they're attracted to you. I am getting a sense of someone wanting to work 
something out, maybe someone you worked with, because this 48 is the 12, which is like the three of pentacles. Um, so with financial discipline, you guys are definitely mastering your craft and sharpening your sword. And people are seeing your quality of work. People are seeing just how skilled you are, seeing you as an asset. I definitely feel like you're going to have some folks that are going to be, um, you know, going to be like, you know, I feel like vetting for your attention or vetting for you to uh, perhaps accept an offer, perhaps a business offer, a business proposal, maybe even a job offer. But it's like you got people vetting for you um, because it's like they see your effort. I mean, your um, your your work ethic or they see how skilled you are. They see how uh, dedicated. It's like there's something about you that's very unique and very rare. It's refreshing. And it's like they want you on their team or they want to align themselves with you. They want to collaborate or partner up or build and form and develop some sort of partnership or alliance with you. Um, and it's because they see you as an asset. It's an, they see you as an asset. So that's very interesting. So what's the outcome? So one, new beginning. Can't make this up. So yes, absolutely a new beginning. It's an exciting, fresh start. I feel like you're going to be super duper successful in whatever this is, especially coming out of that dark period. I just see nothing but like joy, peace, happiness. Um, I absolutely feel that whoever, whatever you are aligning with, um, that you will complement one another. Uh, that this will be a very supportive um, person, not someone that kind of like kind of shies away when things get tough. It's like they're going to be willing now to put forth the effort because in the past that perhaps was what they did or how they handled situations is they would ghost you or they would disappear or they would just go mute. You don't know talk about like, you don't know talk about like they just wouldn't communicate or use their vowels. They'll just go mute. But this time around, I feel like they're going to assert themselves. I feel like they're going to stand direct, meet the challenge, if you will. We have um, Red Man, and this is called Tonight's the Night. Some of y'all, as I was saying, you might hear from someone tonight. Um, some of y'all could be from Jersey. Someone's name could be Reggie. I definitely feel like people see you as a very noble person, someone that is very honest. You know, I was hearing the word purity earlier. So I do feel like you've gone through, um, you know, a very um, difficult moment, which kind of it, it challenged you in a lot of ways. It's like you went through the fire. Um, and when you go through that, fry, that fire, it definitely um, creates masterpieces. It really does. Uh, and, and this is why this new beginning is here. It's, it's a very beautiful, fresh start that I'm seeing. Exciting time. Yep. Nine completion. So, you know, obviously with this non-completion, I'm going to put it the way it makes sense where the non-completion and the new beginning is, you know, next. So absolutely completing, wrapping up cycles, um, closing out, you know, those cycles where uh, you have observed and come to the conclusion that certain things, certain people, certain circumstances, certain jobs, certain, you know, activities just were not becoming of you, weren't fitting, weren't serving you. Um, and you made a conscious decision, decision, decision to, you know, leave a situation behind. Um, and this is going to bring a lot of joy because that stagnancy and, um, just that energy is stuck, stuck, feeling stuck, um, feeling obligated is like, it, it, it is, it's, you know, it's subsiding now. So what we have on the bottom of the, Ooh, I love that we have wishes fulfilled, so, or fulfillment of wishes, pardon me. So what did I say? We saw that triumph and I was picking up the fact that, yes, you had some blessings. We did see follow your dreams. So because you're living in your truth, walking in your truth, um, because you absolutely, no doubt about it, um, walked in faith. That's why you have these blessings here. And these are coming straight from source. And even if you look at this this energy here, it looks like they're wearing like, you know, the little gown when you're at a graduation, this speaks to, you know, reaching that level of self mastery, graduating to that next level. Um, and remember I was saying there was wishes coming in because we had the seven, 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 61 is seven, seven, seven. So you got seven, seven, seven here. Um, you actually have seven, 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 cause you have this and then you have this seven here. So that is seven, 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 seven. Um, so, you know, that breaks down to 28, which is one, um, seven times four is 28, 
that's 10, that's one. So that's definitely saying that's why you have this new beginning. Um, and this new beginning is definitely leading to, you know, everything, all your wishes being fulfilled, all the answers to your prayers are coming. Um, or maybe just that miracle, you know, we can see here, there's a treasure chest. So I do feel there's some material, um, wealth, there's some unexpected income, sudden wealth. Uh, this could be, you know, a new job offer, making a substantial amount of money. Um, this could be a business deal, you know, a contract, signing a contract for a significant amount of money. Uh, we have Wu-Tang Clan again, and this is Method Man. Um, and I was here, I'm hearing in my mind, there was a method to your madness. Um, and I feel like, you know, with that hermit energy that I was picking up, like kind of going into seclusion or isolating yourself and then going into that energy of like learning and, and studying with the hierophant energy I was picking up. That is how you were able to master your craft, sharpen your sword, hone your skills. Um, because there was a method to your madness or maybe that spirit saying there was always a method to, you know, the madness of what you've just endured, what you've just come out of. Um, spirit had to, to try you, test you. Um, I'm definitely seeing like, um, when you think of, um, when you think of the temperance, uh, in one of my decks, it's like, there's, you know, it's like spirit. There's a hand coming from the heavens where it's like, it's kind of tempering and, and pruding, uh, another person, um, you know, trying to, you know, it's like testing you, testing your, uh, your endurance, testing your threshold. Uh, so we have ch obstacles and challenges. So this is why, because you've overcome those obstacles and challenges. And this has changed your perspective. You could even see here that you were being aided. You know, remember I was saying, I was picking up like the angels are surrounding you and around you. And if you look, you have these little lightning bugs that are lighting the path to show you if you make the wrong steps, it could ultimately lead to you know, an untimely death, an unfortunate circumstance. You could break a leg, arm, neck, back, you know what I'm talking about? But spirit is guiding the way. And this glow of light is showing that you were being assisted. Um, and this not only showed you the challenges that were ahead, but this also was spirit helping you with those challenges. Because if you look closely, there's like a bird on this plank. And that bird to me is like, you know, it, birds teeter between the heavenly and earthly realm. Um, just like, you know, the cats, they can see between the earthly and the, the spiritual realm. And, um, but the birds, you know, represent messages from spirit. Uh, so I do feel like, you know, you were getting a lot of divine interventions and moments where you felt lost, trapped, challenged, defeated, um, where there was a lot of conflicts and you may have felt, you know, um, like giving up, but spirit has always been there to, to light the path and to guide you. And because you endured and continue to go, you know, the distance, that's why you're being blissed with wish fulfillments. Like I'd be telling people who tap into this channel, I really now truly believe that people who discover this, ch this channel are, you know, the Scorpios that have been doing the work. You know, a lot of people want feel good tarot readings. You know, they want to just hear all the good ish. And the moment you start getting real with it, um, they take offense. There goes that authoritarian this is divine masculine. So this is the energy I feel that you could be attracting to you. This is even the masculine energy some of you that are watching are in. It's, um, I'm hearing you ain't taking no shorts. Um, this isn't the type of energy you want to test either. You know, this is a very uh, strong, stoic type of energy, uh, very confident. This is a, a, you know, a very alpha male type of energy. Um, you could have been dealing with some folks that could have been very controlling, you know, but like I was saying back, so what I was saying is like, you know, this isn't about feel good tarot. Okay. So a couple of cards chose themselves. This one is sticking out. It's choosing itself and take that. These are all going to clarify the overall energy. So it's like, you got to get with the real, you know, if you want to know what's going on, you have to really be doing the work. And the Scorpios that come to this channel have really been growing and evolving and becoming stronger versions of themselves. And that is the whole purpose of this channel. I'm not here to, to, you know, to rock y'all to sleep so I can get views. I'm here to tell you what this, the, the cards, you know, are speaking to me, what the music is speaking to me. I'm merely the vessel that is communicating this, but this is coming from source because you could clearly see, you know, the way the intuition, um, does tap in and how the cards will mimic what I said or repeat, or just confirm what I said, I should say. So we got this. 
alchemical force energy. This is the Magi. You have this awareness that you can, you know, that can, you could channel, that you can receive those divine downloads. You're tapped into the Christ consciousness. You know how to utilize the elements around you. Um, you definitely know how to co-create because this is a very, you know, ener powerful energy of co-creation. Um, so this is a beautiful energy of being aware of the power you possess. You have Fat Joe, Nas, Big Pun, Jadakiss, Raekwon. This is called John Blaze. You could be dealing with someone named John. Um, I am feeling a sense with the overall energy with John Blaze. Um, I do feel like, you know, there is a sense of like something is about to, it's, it's almost like, I don't want to say like fiery, you know, <laughs> this energy, but when I hear blaze, I'm thinking of fire. So I'm automatically just thinking of like passion and I'm hearing the word lust, you know, someone could be lusting after you, crushing after you. Um, but we're about to clarify self-love and remember, as I was saying earlier, self-love makes you very attractive especially when you are owning your power, when you are standing in your power, standing your ground, standing up for what you believe in, when you are manifesting in self, you know, sufficient, independent, you know, it, it's a attractive quality. Um, I always get attracted to a man that's a man's man. You know, you just see a, a big, strong man, just being a man, holding a door for a woman or being a man and, and, and protecting the family, um, holding on to certain values that I am familiar with from my upcoming, just growing up with my grandmother and grandfather. You know what I'm saying? Like just seeing things that remind me of the elders of yesteryear. So it's just like those things are attractive. So I feel like you are attracting someone because maybe they see, you know, the, that, that, you know, that maternal or paternal, uh, quality in you. They could see you as someone who's very nurturing, someone who's very, you know, understanding, someone who's very patient, um, thoughtful, you know, considerate, you know, not self-centered and self-absorbed. In this society, it's very hard to find people who actually are compassionate and empathic towards their fellow man because, you know, social media has made narcissists out of everyone. Everyone wants a gazillion likes from a picture that they posted, you know, poking out their lips and doing duck lips. And, you know, it's just annoying. It's just like, you know, so what? Like celebrities do it now, reg regular everyday people. It's just like, so society has made people um, very self-absorbed. And that is a quality that you do not possess. You seem to be very uh, considerate of other, others. Maybe you compliment other people. You don't even hear people compliment and complimenting other people anymore. Um, I compliment people at my job and it's almost like a shocker, you know, like the look on their face is like, thank you. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, and it'd be genuine, like, Oh girl, look at, I love your hair. Like it's pretty. It's like, they, they can't stand it. Like, it's like, they don't know how to respond because they're not used to it. Um, or then you have those who are just thirsty for attention. Uh, and those are the ones I usually avoid and don't give them none, none of the attention they're seeking. But I digress. So let's tap in. So we have spiritual union. So I told you all I was seeing like, you know, meeting with a like mind, you know, and there we have it. It doesn't get more like than that. The two minds are meeting. So this is the meeting of the minds. So I do feel like you're meeting someone, as I said earlier, because uh, remember I was I had that 11 and I was saying how, you know, working on yourself, that Ace of Cups, that's about healing and recovery, and rejuvenating your soul, purifying yourself, you know. And only then when you do that work, that internal work and heal, then you can love yourself. And I feel like whoever you're attracting, that's someone who's also been loving and working on and healing themselves. And so you're meeting someone that's going to, you know, give to you equally because there is a, a strong sense of, you know, two individuals who have learned, um, you know, that love, um, you know, love is something that is to be reciprocated. Um, it is to be balanced. This could be what is your wish fulfillment because uh, this is a number nine. I feel also the fact that you're loving yourself again makes you more attractive. So this is drawing in to your orbit uh, what you deserve. You know, this is a spiritual union 
which is, you know, again, like I said, that that energy of a soulmate I was seeing earlier because we kept seeing 1111. So you do have someone that's coming in and this is someone that is going to uh, speak your love language. Uh, you're going to have similar interests, similar goals, um, similar passions. You may like the same music. This could be someone that could be hearing music and thinking of you, seeing your face as clear as day. Um, with stand up, remember we was hearing that with uh, Charlie Baltimore and Ghostface. Um, I do feel like this person is going to stand up and rise to the occasion and express how they feel. Um, I do feel like they were intimidated because we have mob deep, uh, shook ones. Maybe they was dealing or running with a bunch of immature people, chatty patties, um, just a bunch of like, I, I always feel like it's like a bunch of, um, Dun -dun -dun -dun. Uh, whenever I see that five of wands or five of swords energy, I just feel like it's, it's just too chaotic. And maybe that's what they were trying to navigate. You know, everybody had an opinion. Everybody was giving unsolicited advice. They weren't strong enough to stand up and speak from their chest, or maybe they didn't have that, that much confidence in their ability to, you know, um, to investigate those feelings that they was just trying so hard to suppress. Um, maybe it just simply was, there was just a lot going on. Cause I was picking up, you know, that scenario where, you know, someone may have chosen another person, started a family, moved away. And, you know, maybe there was a feeling of always in the back of their mind, thinking of you, um, trying to look you up, trying to do background checks, see where you are, see your location, someone that can't get you out of their, their mind or someone that can't stop thinking about you, even after, you know, um, moving on with someone else. And maybe that relationship has recently, um, ended, you know, cause we saw 10, 10. And again, whenever I see double numbers, I always feel that's you and the person you're attracting mirroring one another. And this is, you know, almost a sense of mirroring. You're mirroring um, in the ways that you're thinking. I feel this also a very strong, intuitive conversation that's going on, a telepathic conversation, or maybe this is just someone that's just thinking of you constantly um, and just desiring um, to, to bring this connection into fruition. So next we have movements, choices, decisions. And remember what we saw, remember earlier I was speaking to that. So choosing wisely, making a decision. I feel this person is going to choose you because um, they feel like there is something deeper there. I feel there was intimidation, you know, whoever this energy is, I feel there was intimidation, but I also feel there could have been a marriage because all of these cards right now reduce to 11 and, um, Someone did have to go, you know, because remember the 11 card that we saw, that was individuality. So someone did part ways with another person. And I feel like parting ways with that other person, that other party, um, you know, that was like a relationship change. And so now they are uh, somehow, um, you know, trying to navigate, um, you know, this situation to, to return back to you um, or to look you up because they couldn't get you out of their mind. Maybe that could be part of the reason that could be partially the reason why that relationship didn't work. Because when you are carrying someone else in your spirit and you're already in a relationship, it will show up, you know, um, whether it's obvious or not, like there's still a part of you, you're not giving to your partner because you're longing for another person. And so that could also be um, you know, that, that breaking point as well. So someone had to make a choice. Remember I was picking up like a sense of someone planning, preparing, strategizing, or, you know, ready, set, go, that energy of like, you know, strategizing, uh, uh, you know, just trying to, uh, assess a situation, if you will. And that's kind of giving me that same energy. And then they have to ultimately choose and decide which direction they're going to go. And they trust in their intuition because your intuition will not lead you astray. Um, again, this is, you know, the first eye, uh, that is letting you know, um, that you must use your spiritual eye and not the two in your head because they will deceive you. So whoever this is, I am feeling like this is someone that's trusting their intuition this is someone that thinks of you a lot and you may be picking up on that energy intuitively. Uh, but whatever the case, I am getting a sense of someone that is finally realizing that they have to be strong to express something that they wish to say. Uh, we have Wu-Tang Clan cream. Cream is an acronym for cash rules, everything around me. So someone could have been in, you know, a relationship that could have been just, just about material gain, pardon me. It could have been just about material, um, could have been just, you know, for show, 
Uh, it could have been something that they were pressured into. Um, but I don't feel there was any emotional um, fulfillment in that because with cream, it just sounds like it was all about the money. You know, it was all about the money and, you know, money isn't a feeling. It's not even real. It's fiat. It's like, you know, real, real, uh, real currency is diamonds, gold, silver, um, you know, copper. Those are things that actually are worth something. Uh, this printed paper that we are <laughs> using, it doesn't have the gold to back it, which means technically it's worth nothing. That's why the dollar is like the, 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 um, what do you call it? Um, you know, around the globe, the dollar, the, 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 what the value of the dollar has, has dropped significantly. And that's why we're trillions in the hole, which baffles me how we could send so much money, um, to others that are at war, but I digress. But this energy is showing like, you know, someone is really, um, realizing that something's missing you know, in a connection, you know, something's missing that person. They can't stop thinking of that person that they think of first thing in the AM, even though they haven't seen this person in a while. Um, it's like something's missing. And what's missing is the fact that, you know, this connection, um, is very spiritually driven. It's, it's a chemistry. It's a synergy that you all share. Um, it's a commonality that this person, thrives and hungers for. Um, I am getting a sense also like, you know, whoever this is, um, they are, you know, really th just dreaming a lot. You know, this is someone that lives in their head a lot. Um, with this seven, that's four, that's 11, two, two and six, that's eight. I do feel they will come towards you because I am getting those eight of wands. I'm, I am also feeling like they've had some sort of epiphany and realized that you're that wish fulfillment because I was feeling, feeling like, you know, this is someone that um, never got you out of their system. You know, you could meet anyone, you know, women are attractive, women are beautiful, men are fine. Like this beauty is, is it's, you know, it's, it's so cliche to say, oh, beauty is, is, is skin deep. Yes, like people, you know, saying beauty can, it doesn't last forever, the physical beauty that is. That's why it's very important to develop um, deeper connections other than, you know, what's so superficial. Um, I make an effort. I don't like really fine guys. Um, and not because I don't think that I'm attractive enough to pull them, but it's just like, I don't like anybody that's going to be primming and propping in front of the mirror more than I am. Um, I don't want anyone that is thirsting for that type of attention uh, where they got to be just, just perfect, you know, because then it's like, who are you doing that for? Are you doing it for you? Or are you doing it to, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and a lot of times, just like with some women, it's nothing wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's nothing wrong with loving yourself, but you don't have to do all of that to be beautiful. You know, if anything, some men feel it actually takes away your beauty when you do too much, you know, and too much meaning butt implants and poking out your lips and getting them puffed up. And it's just like, love yourself, loving yourself. There's nothing wrong with being your authentic self. There's nothing wrong even with doing what you want to do with yourself. But it's like, you got to love yourself. What we see going on right now with a lot of celebrities, um, that is a sign of not loving yourself because they don't know when to stop. Um, when you don't know when to stop, uh, it could lead to death. Um, you could start looking like somebody other than who you came out of your mother's womb looking like and it's just like that's the part to me that's scary is like when you're looking in the mirror when you're 50 and 60 are you even going to recognize yourself like it's just like some people that have gotten themselves done it's just like they don't even look like who they originally were I, it's just, it's scary to think that like, this is so accepted and everybody's just, Hey, if live your life and live your truth. And I'm like, nah, at some point people got to be realists. You know, you got to be realists. You can't enable, you know, mental illness. To me, some of that is mental illness that needs to be addressed. Like little Kim was expressing how she, you know, augmented herself so much because of a lack of self love. So imagine if she had people around her that really loved her that said, girl, you don't need that. You're beautiful. F them dudes that feel like you're not attractive enough or you're too dark. Beautiful sister, don't do, you know what I'm saying? Like you need people around you that are going to be real with you and not just 
let you fall down, you know, you know, go down this, this, um, this dark road, you know, where you just look like a doll, you know, I, I don't know why women are trying so hard to look like Barbie dolls. Like literally their faces look like Barbie dolls. Their nose are all pinched up. You know, that's, that's the beauty of being, you know, a melanated being is you, we come in all shapes, sizes. We have plump lips, plump noses. I embrace my plump nose. I like, I'm not ever going to pinch it up. Like I'm never going anywhere. I don't care how much money I get. I will never go and change anything about myself. Not even just my nose. I will work my ass off to get this little fufa I have out of here. I'm going to do the crunches I need to do. I'm going to do the Pilates, but it's about self-love ultimately. And that's what I feel um, a lot of people are lacking nowadays. Um, but I'm. let me get back to the point. So with this awareness, the magician here, I am feeling like whoever or whatever you're attracting to you, even if this is you uh, tapping into your divinity and channeling your inner alchemist, it's like um, there's a gift here, you know, and this is something that you have been honing, you have been learning, you have been building that skill set, you have been, you know, mastering your craft, so to speak. Uh, I feel also that someone could be manifesting you, and this is that person I was feeling is very... Um, attracted to you. Uh, this is someone that definitely thinks about you a lot. This is another circle here. Um, so I do feel like, you know, you may have someone that dreams, you know, maybe they could visit you in your dreams. They could be someone that astral projects. Uh, they could be someone, you know, that just has a lot of lucid dreams, or maybe this is you, uh, whatever the, the case may be. I do feel there's also, um, downloads. So pay attention to your dreams. Um, definitely keep a dream journal. Cause I do feel your angels are are visiting you in your dreams and they're leaving you very uh significant messages or signs um and if you don't keep a dream journal and you wake up um it those messages may fade away and and there is something i feel spirit is trying to communicate to you uh what we have is nas this is new york state of mind and uh, i am speaking to your dreams i'm speaking of the mind so be mindful um to you know at least keep a dream journal or take note of certain signs, synchronicities, downloads that you may have. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's continue the shuffle. I'm going to cut the deck. And then we're going to wrap it up. So this is your, look at that, recognition and reward. Can't make this up. Remember, I was speaking to passion. See that? Passion ignited. So living your truth, living in your purpose, feeling free, being recognized, being ordained, being initiated, being ushered. It's like you are almost like this is a rites of passage he's being elevated you see how he's like up he's elevated so there is a strong sense of spirit blessing you and rewarding you um and i feel like it's you know it's rewarding you with you know your divine purpose your divine passion your divine people and there goes that eight of swords i was talking to this is trapped in fear and we're pulling the energy for who or what you are attracting to you so that is that energy of that person and look what's playing right now shook ones i can't make this up so someone is shook someone's scared remember i was picking up intimidation you know someone too that was afraid to say what they needed to say and it's all self-imposed because they're up in their head when you're trapped in fear it's like you're telling yourself all the wrong things it's like you're in your own way so to speak because you're not you know you're not really um listening to reason it's just like that's when the devil gets to playing with your mind you know and that's why i always tell people like don't get caught up ruminating and pining go outside take it to nature because it gives you fresh perspectives you get downloads you get visits from animal totems that's how animal you know that's how the angels will communicate with you as well so what we have here is we have, look at that, obstacles and challenges. I can't make this up. This is another five. So I do feel like, as I was saying earlier, remember when I said your angels, you know, these angels are giving you angles, you know, they're, they're actually, you know, lighting the path for you so that you don't, um, you know, so that you don't fall, you know, and this five and five, cause seven, seven breaks down to 14, which is five that breaks down to 10. So I am feeling like, you know, someone is being, um, assisted on a journey. Someone is being shown the right path. That's why we have here 
because someone is kind of confused and conflicted or stuck in two minds um, or feeling like they're stuck at a crossroads and they're having to make, you know, some sort of decision, a choice about a movement. And there are some obstacles that they are facing. Um, but spirit is saying that this obstacle that they are facing um, isn't truly an obstacle if the path is lit. So it's almost like spirit is giving someone, you know, the the answers or they're they're uh, giving them, you know, an, an ability to, you know, to see things clearly uh, so that they can get over this hump or get over this challenge and look this wish fulfillment. So they're, once they get over this hump, you know, because this is, you know, about studentship, teaching, learning. So maybe spirit is is expecting someone to apply what they've been learning because this five is also that hierophant. So they're being taught, they're being taught resilience. They're being taught to lean in their strength, to own their power. Remember we have shook ones. So this is someone that would typically run away. You know, they would run away. They would ghost people. They wouldn't confront, um, their fears, you know, and so when they do, that's why the wish fulfillment is here. Remember we saw the recognition and reward, um, so that's what this is about. This is, they're being challenged, you know, spirit is challenging them. And remember that five is the hierophant. And remember what I said, that's when you're sitting at the feet of the elders. That's when you are seeking advice and, and, and getting tutelage, you know, from a matriarch or patriarch. Uh, so this is like a rites of passage and, you know, this individual here that is being challenged has to apply what they've learned. So he is planning and preparing strategizing how to get over you know this hump you know how into how to get over this obstacle if you will and i do feel like when they use their spiritual eye to see they will figure it out and that's what you know maturation is all about it's not about just reacting and and moving blindly and not paying attention to what's around you it's about you know planning preparing strategizing um this is powerful, but they will take action. I want to get one more message, but we do have this energy here for uh, fulfillment of wishes. So I do see that, you know, there is going to be um, some sort of wish fulfillment here. See that this person takes their power back. They're standing in their power. This is about standing up. So when they were shook, see that? Look at this. I can't make this up. Victories and success. And we have destiny, what's destined for someone. So there's destiny. This is all that's waiting. And remember that 10. So when they come out of that karmic, you know, completion, which was destined, which was preordained to teach them to own their power, because this is what flew out, they're going to obtain and receive rewards. You know, this is a victory. This is a celebration. This is celebratory. But this is what they are owning now, their power. Because remember what I said, you got to, you, you when you are in that energy where you're planning, preparing, strategizing, it's so that you can assert yourself so that you can have a victory. You don't want to just react or be reactionary. That's why we had physical activity because it's about being proactive. It's about, you know, it's about, you know, choosing the best course of action. So next we have rejoice and celebration. I can't make this up. So there is something um, coming that is going to bring a lot of happiness. Um, you're going to be very satisfied because as I said, I always feel like this is, you know, reuniting with someone that you haven't heard from. Um, this is someone that has finally, uh, been standing in their power. Someone that's finally owning their power. Someone that used to be very, I'm feeling like, um, intimidated. Maybe this is someone that was bashful. Maybe this is someone that just simply, as I said, wasn't the type to emote or be expressive. Um, we have um, gang star above the clouds. So with above the clouds, I am feeling like, you know, this is really just that energy of you. You're going to feel um, very excited hearing from this person. You're going to feel, you know, a sense of elation, you know, a sense of peace. Someone is coming to speak the truth. We got triumphant success. This is like the ace of swords. I feel like they want to cut the tension that's in the air. I feel they're also cutting themselves free um, because, you know, with that um, eclipse, that's what the sword can do. I feel Archangel Mikael is coming in also to aid 
with protecting a union, but also cutting you free from generational curses, hexes, yokes, spells. This could be your energy. This could be someone you're attracting to you, but there is a success. This is confirmed twice, actually like three or four times because we had triumph showing and we saw the triumph card. Now we have uh, victory and success and triumphant success. So this is really spirit, like just, you know, driving it home that you do have um, victories ahead of you, that there is a reason that you will be celebrating because there is this sense of owning your power, even if this is your energy, owning your power, knowing who you are, not settling, being strong, being bold, being daring, being risky, um, and tackling things, you know, up front, confronting your fears, as that card said, and not shying away or making excuses or hiding out, but it's like confronting them and having the clarity to do so, um, to cut out what no longer serves you. I feel there's also a conversation that's coming and that's going to change something here uh, because it's really showing that you will be um, celebrating. There's some sort of a celebration, celebratory uh, moment. And we have, see that mental conflict. So whoever this is, they're going to have um, some sort of epiphany. You know, there's some sort of epiphany. I was speaking to somebody being stuck in two minds and that's what the challenges were. Someone was stuck between two people, stuck between two choices, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place, you know, and, and they're going to see something clearly because there is some sort of triumphant success because spirit is cutting them free from whatever this illusion is, you know, it's like they're cutting the veil from someone's eyes and that's why they're in their power. Um, they're using, I feel their spiritual eyes because that's the thing that will get you out of here when you're thinking too much. And you're up in your head constantly. That's the devil's playground. Um, and he will trick you, bamboozle you, gaslight you. Uh, he will manipulate you. He will have you feeling so defeated uh, because it's a deceitful energy. So whatever your fears are, he uses them against you. And that's why it's very important not to get stuck ruminating. Um, that's why I always encourage people to take it outside, go to a nature walk, you know, go to a park, go to um, a river, lake, pond, ocean, uh, but really go out there and, and um, you know, get a recharge, get reset. Um, and that will always give you perspective because there's always something, some download, some divine sign or divine synchronicity uh, that will come through and that will give you um, the clarity that you're seeking. And I do feel you get that. So with above the clouds, this is about seeing things at a bird's eye view, uh, seeing things for what they truly are. And I feel that's also why this Ace of Swords is here because, you know, that sword energy is really about logic, um, and not emotion. And I feel perhaps, you know, someone is, um, seeing clearly the way to handle a situation. Um, and I do see here, uh, we have a uh, big L and this is called put it on rising power to big L rising power to prodigy. So with put it on, I do feel like, you know, someone is definitely going to, um, cause big L is what's more so ruminating. Someone name could start with L. Um, but I'm hearing like L, like, you know, when you hear L it's like a loss. So someone feels a loss, you know, um, perhaps, not being in communication. Um, and you know, this is something that they do want to, uh, bring some clarity, you know, maybe they want to confess some things or express something. So let's tap it. So how they feel about you. We got victories and success here. So someone does see you living in your purpose, sees you single, sees you independent, sees you raising your babies. Maybe you're domestic. Maybe you're a nurturer. Maybe you're a healer, shaman, light worker. They see you as someone that's self-sufficient, independent, someone that's caring, kind, someone successful, someone grounded, someone that may ground them. So what we have that flipped over, look what we have. Remember we saw 11, 11 a couple of times. This is the number four. And remember we did see that four earlier and this speaks to foundations and achievements. I do feel like you have someone that is absolutely um, seeing you as, you know, their divine person, someone that they can, um, you know, build this home and cultivate and nurture a family. This is like that happily ever after. This is like happy spouse, happy house type of energy. This is someone that will be supportive, be your rock. Um, this is definitely someone that loves you. I feel this is a happy union. 
Um, I absolutely feel like this is a very secure and safe space for you to be in. Um, but I am getting a strong sense of like, you know, just building a nucleus with a person because I was feeling, especially with that uh, environment card four four we saw, um, and it was all green. I was feeling like someone was already feeling this love for you, and you know maybe this is just them loving themselves after healing themselves, and now they are mirroring your energy. And when two people come to union that love themselves, this is what they create. So, you know, this is really someone that could see themselves having some sort of family, you know, building a family with you because they see you as someone domestic. They see you as a nurturer. They see you as someone caring and kind and giving and loving and loyal and faithful and trustworthy and communicative and open and honest and pure, you know, and that's the type of energy this person would want to not only cohabitate with, but also to co-create with. Um, this is beautiful. So this is how someone sees you. Uh, as I said, that four deals with the heart chakra. Um, so this is a beautiful energy, beloved. So let's tap in. So let's see. A lot of spirit of peace, power, and protection. I see that memories of love. Remember, I was picking up on that six, that six of cups. So someone from your past. I feel whoever that was in your past, they, they really are struggling with you know some sort of um insecurities doubts um fears you know they're trapped in fear and fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real you know but there goes that eight of wands i was picking up the star you can see like this is like the star to me as well because this is that answer to the prayer someone has been praying and hoping and you know just sending up prayers and petitions fervently asking for guidance asking for a sign and spirit just says here you go so that's what's given them the hope the optimism to continue on to to continue the journey you know um but i also feel that there's something coming in unexpectedly so let's tap in so what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of wow that was fast finish my shuffle and this card is like literally sticking out and i want to take that because it's like sideways so what we have on the bottom of the deck is rest and rejuvenation remember i was picking up you all were absolutely taking that time you know to heal you know to uh recover and it's also really speaking to you know just connecting with source you know grounding yourself or meditating to get things straight connecting with your higher self connecting with your spirit team devoting time praying um, and calling on your angels and your guides, um, strengthening that relationship and that bond. And uh, you receive the downloads because you do move away. You see positive movements forward. So whatever you receive through these downloads, you absolutely will take heed. And there's a positive um, circumstance that, you know, will um, result. And there goes the spiritual strength. And we saw that I was getting that from the nines I was seeing is that you've grown spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Uh, so the cards that flew out is you have triumph. So this is like the umpteenth time that spirit is saying there is a victory ahead for you. And it is it has everything to do with the application of what you've learned, you know, because knowledge, um, the application of knowledge becomes wise dome. And I feel whoever was a little apprehensive or whoever was a little intimidated or, you know, um, trapped in fear, they finally assert themselves. They take action. Um, something's rushing in. Something's coming in. And I feel it's bringing joy. I feel it's bringing peace. I feel it's bringing security. Uh, this red is deals with the... Uh, you know, that root chakra, that base chakra. So I do uh, feel like this is in regards to stability and security, perhaps even family. Um, but this has, this is good news. This is positive energy. And we have firm foundation here. So this is really beautiful because the four is the vibration of that 1111. Uh, so I do feel like everything you've been enduring, it has been preparing you for something great. It has prepared you. It has been preparing you for perhaps your spiritual career, um, living in your purpose, your soul's mission, um, and it's going to, you know, have you aligning with your uh, dreams or your passions, and it's really, you know, establishing stability and security here. Uh, but I feel like there's something even beautiful because it's like it shows that everything you've endured has made you stronger. Um, it has given you. Pardon me, it's given you, you know, that drive 
um, to keep keep going, keep growing, and to not stop because we're always a work in progress. There's always more to learn. So it's like after you learn this lesson, there's another chapter that starts over and you're learning. So we're always learning. We're always a work in progress. And this just shows, again, that same energy of, you know, this family. Um, you're attracting a divine masculine that is strong enough to, you know, sustain you know this family to protect this family to provide for this family this is someone that's devoted someone that's been tried and tested themselves and whoever this person is uh let me put it in a way where it makes sense whoever this person is that's what they're looking for as well and this will be a wish fulfillment because someone does see that you know they need to follow their dreams maybe they're already thinking of you 85 breaks down to 3 13 pardon me and that's four so this is 444. Remember, we saw 444 this a.m. So that's a message for some of you all. So someone that has gone through or grown through um, their own, you know, dark night of the soul journey, what it has done, it is has it's made them strong. Remember, I was speaking to someone, you know, kind of working, uh, you know, through their, 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 uh, you know, going through the, getting to the root cause, you know, of a problem. And that's showing that's exactly what someone has had to endure. And what it's taught them is what they absolutely desire is to, you know, have that, that nucleus, that family, um, have that support. And they will also be willing to support, be willing to compromise, um, be willing to build, cultivate, nurture, but it required rest. And through this resting period, through this time, that's another four. So this is a spiritually ordained connection. Um, we did see that destiny card that was uh, kind of hiding. Um, and that destiny means it's written in the stars. This is something that's preordained. Um, and we have Nas, you're the man. So some of you masculines, and it just changed soon as I showed you. Um, but some of you masculines have been maturing, have been growing and s some feminine is realizing you're the man that got away or you're the one that they want. You're the man in the situation. We have this rest and rejuvenate. eight. So let's clarify the outcome and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's tap, tap in. Thank you, spirit. That was fast. So we have sacrifice. So someone has been really taking the time to assess Whenever you see that sacrificial position, which is the same as the hangman, that means that there's a lot of reflection, you know, even introspection, self-analysis, even self-discovery, you know, but they're looking at things from a completely different vantage point than they typically or usually would. So it's almost as if spirit has forced someone into this position to see beyond their own limited um, you know, viewpoint, if you will. So it's like someone that could have been very proud or stubborn in a, in a way has been forced into a position to look at things, um, from a different perspective. And I feel that's the reason why they're having perhaps an epiphany. Um, and this was Snoop Dogg. So someone could have been a player. Someone could have been, you know, creeping, crawling, cheating back in the days, um, play a player from the Himalaya, you know, one of that, those type of energies. Cause we just had Snoop Dogg and, you know, so I'm hearing there was like a stray dog. They was just for everybody. So look what we have here. We have the truth. So remember I was saying someone wants to speak the truth. I feel someone has had some sort of aha moment. Like there's been an, like, um, what do you call that? Like a wake up call, you know, now they see everything clear as day. And this is someone that is at a distance because this person is kind of looking, they're on a scale. So I do feel like they've had some sort of karmic circumstance, uh, that where they've had to not only, um, be honest with themselves, but now they desire, or maybe their challenge, uh, being challenged to, uh, admit something to you. Um, and this too is them making that decision. Cause remember we had this movements, choices, decisions, and then this is the number two also, even though it's 20, it breaks down to two. So now they're also making a decision between two people, because remember someone was stuck and trapped, mentally conflicted, you know, trying to decide between, um, you know, a, a course of action or two people, two places, two things, but someone is going to man up, woman up, take accountability, responsibility, and be honest. Because remember, we had that truth, triumphant success. So with honesty, that's the only thing that can result in a successful outcome is when you're honest, when you're being 
your authentic self, when you, you know, get rid of the mask and stop walking uh, in this false sense of reality and you speak your truth, that's when you can break ground with another person. And I feel that's what someone is coming to do. And that's why we have this two here is because perhaps this is that energy of the two people who are giving to one another equally now. There is no, you know, you're giving more and they're giving more and then they're giving less, you're giving, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's now balanced. And remember, that's what one of the things that, um, that I was saying earlier is that you have to be balanced. Even if you're a masculine, you have to also have a balance of your femininity. Um, even as a, as a feminine, you have to balance your masculinity, which would be your log logic for feminines to balance that masculine energy would be logic and for masculine needing to balance the feminine energy, which is emotion. So that is necessary to have a sustainable, healthy partnership with someone. And someone is finally realizing that truth, expressing that truth, living in that truth. And look what we have, the six. This is what we started the reading with. And this is what we're ending the reading with harmony, balance. Yet again, the scale, what does that represent? Balance. Um, and this harmony, this is the lovers. Uh, this is spirit putting you or aligning you, I should say, with your divine counterpart. Um, as you could see here, this is a very sacred connection. Um, someone is coming in your orbit, you know. I feel like they are being drawn to you. They are, you know, because someone is manifesting. Someone is a very powerful alchemist or manifester. Um, they have divine knowledge. This could be you and the person you're attracting because this is a double number, seven, seven. So you both can be manifesting and attracting one another. Um, I get a sense of you knowing who this is, whether in this lifetime or a former. I absolutely don't feel this is a karmic I'm repeating that this is not a karmic. I have not picked up on any karmic energy that's coming in with love and light and purity. I've only picked up on karmics coming in with deceit, deception, and trickery. So when I'm picking up on this energy of someone from your past, this is someone that feels like you're the one that got away. I don't know how many years I was picking up like almost six years, seven years, um, maybe even, even as far as 15. Maybe this is someone you knew when you was 15 years old, someone that went away, whatever the case may be, bumping into someone you haven't seen in a while. Uh, I feel this person is, you know, watching you from a distance because this looks like a globe and this person's kind of looking out, um, you know, of this door, you know, into, you know, almost like, um, into a whole new world or into a new chapter. So it's like they're making a decision, perhaps maybe trying to decide, the best approach, when to come in. I'm seeing the rays of sun coming in my room. It's very beautiful. I love when that happens. Um, so I am getting a sense of like, uh, there is some truth coming in. And for some of you, as I was saying, it might be music to your ears, uh, but whoever this is, this person loves you. Uh, this is a like mind. You got the harmony card, you know, um, you have the spiritual union card. Remember we did see that spiritual partnership card as well. So I am feeling a strong sense of like connecting with someone uh, that you are destined to be with because we did see that destiny card as well. Uh, but this is your reading, beautiful Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Please be kind. Like the button, like the video, share if you feel so inclined and definitely um, subscribe, subscribe to the Soul Tribe so family hit that notification bell so you know whenever i upload um and again if you wish to you know enter into the giveaway for the two free readings i will be selecting a masculine and a feminine energy uh to give you a, a reading um and uh, the two questions i'm just gonna reiterate or i will repeat it once again um who is my favorite hip-hop artist and which borough do i rain from uh in new york so um that's for all of my you know <laughs> for all of you who have been here since the beginning you if you have been actively listening you will know the answer but thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in um and for staying sticking with me for this deep dive it was a it was a pleasure i will be following up with a shorter reading uh, for those of you who have a shorter attention span. <laughs> but thank you. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Till next time. Peace.